Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was up 0.9% today. A really good day altogether. It, we had a great bounce off of the support level. Uh, the NASDAQ was up 1.5% today. Uh, I think this is kind of a great you know, educational point to kind of talk about uh, something that I think is important. You know, I started this channel you know, back in uh, 2020. Uh, really just trying to educate people in this case you know on these daily videos about you know investing and what happens with the markets and so if you look at this week on monday you know we just had the budget uh extended for 45 days that was a little bit unexpected honestly uh you'd think the market would have been up and it was really actually down for most of that day ended up you know kind of flat for the end of the day so no real reaction to this i think good event that happened in washington and then here today, you know, we had last night, uh, you know, the Speaker of the House is vacated and potential, you know, problems that could happen with the, you know, uh, budget coming up in another 40 some odd days uh, because of that, you know, change. Uh, and the market is up 0.9% today in that environment. And, you know, if you look back at the history of the government shutdowns, really, it's negligible. Going back to 1976, uh, I think the market's down 0.4% during the period of time when there were a shutdown on average. So uh, really, I think it's important to be able to focus on the main things. And, you know, when you look at Washington, I get a lot of questions about Washington, what's happening, presidential elections, who the president is, and all those types of things. That's not nearly important as, you know, which direction is the 200-day moving average going? Because that tells me a lot about the major motion. So I'm very concerned with the primary direction of the market. And so, you know, when I'm looking at the consecutive lows, are they higher? Okay, primary directions up. Are the highs consecutively lower? Okay, primary directions down. Uh, what's happening with the over bought and oversold conditions, you know, the stretch that I talk about. So, you know, yesterday I talked about, you know, we had a big stretch. The RSI was below 30. We almost always get, you know, a bounce off of that. Uh, and we were hitting this, you know, first support level at 4,200 and we end up with a, a motion in the market. So it has a lot more to do with what's happening in the market than it does with what's happening in Washington. I would say the one thing I would really pay attention to in Washington is the Federal Reserve. <laughs> and you can tell uh, the market really hangs on what's happening there and what's said there uh, because really the Federal Reserve has the ability to impact company profits by raising rates uh, and especially if they raise rates too much uh, we can have a big recession and whatnot too so the White House and Congress generally speaking don't have that same immediate impact that it might have longer term impacts with tax policies and different you know stimulus things that they put out what have you and I would say you know, if you look at the 2020, you know, downturn, what happened in Congress uh, and putting out all that stimulus money, it had an impact on the market. We had a fantastic run. So you can't completely ignore what happens in Washington, but kind of the daily average going on things with the budgets and those types of things. The big caveat there would, of course, be the debt ceiling and making sure that that gets taken care of. Uh, so because that can be, you know, something and obviously that affects company earnings. So uh, really interesting time frame as usual. So we hit this level, we hit 42.11 on the S&P 500 yesterday uh, during the day. Uh, and, you know, we got a support right around 4,200 to 4,050. Um, I'm not sure we'll bounce straight off of that. Usually we muddle around uh, and maybe even drop back down a little bit further, you know, and get some more stretch to the downside. But today was good, uh, a good start. Again, what will happen eventually, hopefully, if the market is going to go up, you'll get that bounce off that support level and then we'll start getting short covering. And you'll see some kind of really big up days uh, in a row as people are kind of panicking, covering their shorts because there's a lot of short interest. People feel the market's going to go down a lot more. And so, you know, when you get so many people on one side of the equation, people think it's going to go down. Generally, it doesn't take a lot of people that are left to push it back up. And then it kind of gets those shorts panicking. And again, that's kind of the, the anatomy of a recovery if we're going to have one. If we fall below 4,050, then, you know, we're talking about a different thing because now we've just, if we fall below 4,050, we've now set a new low that's lower than the previous low. So that starts to show a change in major direction. Uh, and we would be below the 200-day moving average and whatnot. So, you know, uh, again, focusing on what's happening with the market and how it's reacting 
is a primary concern, and I would say a secondary concern is kind of what's happening outside of that with, uh, with within Congress and the White House and and Washington in general. Uh, so debt ceiling, Federal Reserve would fit in a you know category of primary concern for me also. But uh, really, you know, trying to figure out where things are going uh, by looking at you know the direction of the market. So. Right now we're in an up market. This is still a minor move to the downside. So that's technically exactly accurate. Uh, and so you kind of have to play it that way and wait and see what's gonna happen here as far as that goes. So anyway, really good day. Uh, be very fascinating to see what the follow-up is tomorrow. Uh, my big thing that I look for a lot is two days in a row uh, where we have you know some nice motion um, and so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I wouldn't be super surprised if it's not a big up day, just because again, we're still in the beginning of this portion of this, you know, bounce, but maybe, you know, again, if you get enough panicking on the short covering, uh, it might move. So look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much.